Hey everyone, it's Chris here at Engine, and welcome to part one of our new video tutorial series focusing on different aspects of the Tag Manager system. In this week's video, we'll show you how to create some simple tag and tag automations, which will allow your user base to dynamically grow when certain criteria is met. To set up your tags, you just need to head over to the Admin Users section. From here, just hit the big Create Tag button. In preparation for this video tutorial, I've already set up some tags and tag categories. We have tags for forum activity, store module activity, as well as a special tag for birthdays. These example tags are fairly basic. I've applied some simple styling to the tags just so we can differentiate between them. We'll cover in-depth tag styling and all the aspects associated in part two of this series. Once you have your tag set up, you'll want to head over to the User Automations tab, which is located under the Automations and Points section. This is where the magic happens, and where we'll apply automated conditions to each of these tags. As you can see, I've already set up a few example automations, including forum upgrades, donator upgrades, and birthday credits. We'll go into a bit more depth here, and I'll take you through each of the automations and show you exactly how I've set them up. Since in this video we'll only be giving you an overview of my pre-configured conditions, if you'd like to learn how to set up these from scratch, check out the Tag Automations video tutorial, link included in the video description. So, from top to bottom, first we'll have a look at Forum Upgrade 1. For this automation to activate, we've selected that the condition needs to be met user has signed up as a registered user on this website. Once the criteria has been met, this condition will then add the following actions. Tag user with Forum Rank 1. No tag will be removed on this occasion, there's no expiry date, and no credit points will be deducted or given. This is a really simple automation, purely there to get the user started on their website activity journey. If we have a quick look at our next automation, we can see that we now demand two different types of criteria to be met. To receive Forum Rank 2, the user would need to be a member on the website for more than 30 days, as well as having a post count of 100 or more. Once both of these conditions have been met, the user will be tagged with Forum Rank 2, and Forum Rank 1 will be removed. If we have a look at our final forum upgrade, we can see the criteria has been heightened further. To receive the final forum rank, a user will now need to be a member for more than 60 days, as well as having a post count of 200 or more. Once both of these conditions have been met, the user will be tagged with Forum Rank 3, and Forum Rank 1 and 2 will be removed. This is a really easy and simple way to get users active on your forums. You can go ahead and mix up the conditions, or you can even add a new incentive such as credit points. Automations can also be used on different modules such as the Store module. Our next set of upgrades all relate to purchases users make on the Store module. Let's take a quick look at our first condition, Donator Upgrade 1. For this automation to activate, we've specified that the user needs to spend $10 on the Store module in the last 30 days. Once a user meets this criteria, they'll receive the Donator Rank 1. To keep things fairly simple again, we've not added any credit points or expiry dates. If we now take a look at Donator Rank 2, we can see we have slightly heightened criteria. To receive this new rank, a user now has to spend $30 on the store in the last 30 days, after which they'll receive the Donator Rank 2 and have their older Donator Rank 1 removed. The final Donator Rank has similar height and criteria. The user now needs to spend $60 on the store in the last 30 days. Once this criteria has been met, they'll receive the Donator Rank 3 and have their older Donator Ranks removed. Last but not least, we're going to have a look at a slightly different condition, a birthday-related condition. This fun condition will tag a user with the Happy Birthday Rank when their birthday is due, as well as granting the user 10 credit points to use as they wish. Since birthdays only come once a year and they don't last forever, we've set the expiry for this tag at one day. And that's it! We've given you a very simple summary of a few example tag conditions which can help your community dynamically grow. Engine provides a huge range of different conditions, so it's best to mix and match to see what suits your community. There is a limit to the amount of conditions you can use per website plan. But don't let that stop you making full use of the conditions you have. You can make them as simple or as complicated as you like, and they can really help your community prosper. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this new video tutorial series covering all the great aspects of Engine's Tag Manager system. 
If you have any further questions, leave a comment or submit a support form, all links included in the video description.